Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Recipe Time. How you doing? Time. I'm Brett. It's Recipe Time. Recipe Time. Hey Uncle Brett, what you cooking today? In this episode, we're going to be making a full dinner. An entree and two sides. Veal Marcella. Parmesan basil mashed potatoes. And Caprese asparagus. Oh, this is the intro. <laughs> Your comments and suggestions are always welcome. Just leave them right down below. We got a lot to do in this episode. Let's get right to it. Good cooking. Good cooking. Let's get going. Now enjoy the show. One thing I forgot in this recipe is the balsamic glaze that goes on top of your caprese asparagus. We're going to start with our mashed potatoes. You're going to cut your red potatoes into cubes for boiling. And we need three garlic cloves. Leave them whole. You're going to put them right into the pot with your potatoes. Cover with water. Add a little kosher salt. And then let's bring those to a boil. When we mash our potatoes, you're going to need four tablespoons of butter, one quarter cup of heavy cream, a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, and then we're going to take basil and cut them into strips. We need about one tablespoon. All right, now let's prep for our asparagus. You said it, we need more garlic. Let's do three cloves of garlic minced. About 10 cherry tomatoes, just cut those in half. And one cup of mozzarella cheese. Take your asparagus, cut off the ends, and toss them away. We don't need that. Now you're going to take olive oil, your garlic, your tomatoes, and oregano. Add a little salt and pepper and then let's mix them up. Place them on a sheet tray, put your tomatoes right on top. And we're going to throw that in the oven for 10 minutes at 425 degrees. When it's done, you're going to bring those out. You can bring those to room temperature. Now let's start on our prep for our marsala. All right, you're gonna take your veal cutlets, you're gonna pound those. Now you wanna get them nice and thin, and we're gonna do about three fourths to a pound of veal all together. I find that putting it between two plastic sheets is the easiest way to pound the veal. For this recipe, I used veal, but feel free to use chicken instead. All right, now we're gonna need one cup of flour for our dredge. Here's a little secret. I like to use this. This is from Trader Joe's. It's umami seasoning. It adds a great earthy mushroom flavor to our flour dredge. So you, I took about one tablespoon. If you don't have this, feel free to improvise and use whatever seasoning you like. Now we need two tablespoons of butter. Now we're going to cut up our mushrooms. Now I use Baby Bella here. You can use whatever you like. I like to cut off the stem and then chop them into probably one eighth inch thick slices. Recipe called for eight ounces. I actually used 12. Now we need some shallots. We're gonna cut these up, make them easy to slice, and then we're gonna mince them. 
In an effort to time everything together, we're gonna put our asparagus in the oven first. So let's add our mozzarella cheese on top of our already cooked asparagus. And then we're gonna put it back into the oven at 150 degrees on the top shelf. Now on the bottom shelf of the oven, we're gonna add an empty sheet tray for our veal once it's cooked. All right, we're gonna put a half a cup of virgin olive oil in our pan and add our three cloves of garlic that have been smashed. Now all we're doing here is cooking the garlic in the oil to give it more flavor. You're gonna take the garlic out once it's browned. Lightly dust your meal in your dredge and shake off any excess flour before putting it in the pan. So we're gonna cook our veal over medium high heat. We're gonna work in batches. So I did about five pieces of veal at a time. You're gonna cook it about two minutes per side, then you're gonna flip it over. Once these are done, you're gonna remove them from the pan and place them on that sheet tray in your 150 degree oven. You're gonna work these in batches until all your veal cutlets are cooked. Keep them warm in the oven while we make our sauce. Using the same pan, we're gonna add two tablespoons of unsalted butter, and then we're gonna add our mushrooms to that so that they can cook down. After about five minutes, we're gonna add our minced garlic and our minced shallots. that cook down again for probably about another five minutes. Once they're cooked, let's add some thyme. Stir that in. And now it's time to add our chicken stock and Marcella cooking wine. Bring it to a boil, add a little salt and pepper if you'd like, and let this reduce. This is gonna go on for probably a good 10 more minutes, if not a little more. Now we're gonna add our heavy cream to the sauce, bring that to a boil, and now we're gonna let that reduce as well. Here's a trick, if you don't want it creamy, leave out the heavy cream, and just thicken with some cornstarch slurry. While that's reducing, let's make our mashed potatoes. So we're gonna take that four tablespoons of unsalted butter with our already cooked potatoes, and we're gonna mash that all together. Try to get as much of the lumps out. I like to leave the skin on, it gives it more flavor. Now we're gonna add a quarter cup of heavy cream. Mix that up a little bit more. Get it nice and blended. Before we put in our Parmesan cheese. Mix that up, get that nice and blended. Now it's time to add our basil. You can also add a little salt and pepper at this point if you'd like. Get it all mixed and nicely incorporated. I like to put it back on the stove at a very low temperature just to stay warm. Now let's continue cooking our sauce. Let this reduce until it's nice and thick. You're gonna get a nice brownish color on your cream. And when it's thick enough, we're gonna add a little salt and pepper just to taste. Mix that up a little bit more, and you should have a nice creamy sauce to go over your veal. All right, once that is done, let's plate our dinner. So I start by putting down the mashed potatoes first. Then I put down some of my caprese asparagus. Here is where I would put the balsamic glaze on top of that. Now I'll lay down my veal cutlets and cover it with our marsala sauce. You can sprinkle with a little chopped parsley if you like, just to give a little extra flair. And 
there you have it. Bon appetito. Now you're ready. Go. You're supposed to say action. Oh, I'm sorry. Action. Okay. I messed up. From the beginning. Ready? No. Ready? And action. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go ahead. The ham. Not ham. Hope you enjoyed recipe time with my Uncle Brett. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and if that notification bell doesn't have two little dings on it, hit that and make it dinging. So you get notified every time my Uncle Brett posts a new recipe. Wait 10 seconds. Okay. okay. I'm in a glass cage of emotions. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Right. Mm -mm -mm.